Hi, you're watching Charter House TV. We've finally got our hands on the new Red Sea Reef LED lights. We're going to take a closer look at some of their key features and what sets them apart from the competition. So Red Sea are slowly moving towards a platform where you can buy a Red Sea aquarium and all Red Sea equipment to go with that. Now, they released their Red Sea skimmer uh, just a few months ago, and we did a video highlighting some of the key features. And this is the next installment on that journey. This is the Reef LED light. Now, we finally got our hands on one. Uh, this is the 90 model, and that will cover a 60 centimeter or 24 inch spread. But there is also a 50 model, which is not quite available yet coming the next month or so and that's the reef led 50 and that will cover a 50 centimeter spread or around 20 inches so there's a light size for most aquariums out there we'll go into some of the more technical details in a little while further on in the video but first of all we thought we'd have a look at the packaging and the light itself uh, all the bits that you get in the box so as you would expect from red sea the packaging's really nice everything's really good quality in the box you're going to get the light itself um, the PSU and an instructions manual. Um, when you get the light out of the box, you're gonna notice a few differences and just the build quality of these lights. It's really well designed. Um, you've got the built-in heat sink around the top of the light. Um, so that's just gonna disperse the extra heat. But also you've got uh, a built-in fan. So that will come on if the light's gonna overheat or just to keep it cool. But there's nice little touches, the little Red Sea logos. Um, and on the front, you've got Red Sea on there. Um, on the back, you've just got a single button and that puts you into different modes on the light and also a couple of LEDs that will just let you know what mode you're in. Um, but the main thing that you're really going to notice when you get this uh, light out of the box is the lens. It's really different from anything else out there at the moment. Um, it's a hollow um, optical lens, glass lens, um, and that's going to give you a really good coverage on your tank and also give you a, a nice subtle uh, shimmer on the, the water as well. Yeah, I mean, another thing obviously you're going to need with these lights are the mounting brackets and Red Sea, again, high quality and have done it a little bit different to most things out there. So they're producing a mounting arm. They're going to be available for both size lights. And again, really well built metal body coated uh, brackets. And as some of you may be familiar from the brackets that were on the Red Sea Reefer Deluxe Aquariums, they're hinged in the middle. And that allows you to lift the light out the way when you're doing maintenance or you're scaping the tank initially, which is really handy. Um, another thing worth noting is that all of the brackets that you can buy for these lights are at a set height. Now, that does two things. It makes sure that you get the spread and intensity of light that you need for an aquarium. But as Steve mentioned, with the lens um, being so different, it's also recessed in the body of the light. So when you've got a bracket at a set height, it means that you don't get any of that glare off of the actual LEDs. Some tanks you'll see when the lights are mounted too high above the aquarium, all you're doing is looking at LED lights and it could be really horrible. So this just ensures that you don't really see the LEDs at that set height. Now, as well as the mounting arms, um, they do offer a pendant style system that allows you to slide the lights in and then obviously you can have them displayed like one single luminaire and that will allow you to adjust the height a little bit. And the brackets come in three different sizes. So you've got a bracket that will ensure that you put the light at the right point over any depth aquarium. So Red Sea have been putting a lot of research and development into these lights um, and they've been doing that over a long period of time. So we're going to go into more of the science behind that in the next part of the video. So Red Sea have been developing and researching this light for quite some time now. Um, to give you an idea, they've had these lights running above some of their aquariums for up to two years. And they wanted to do that to make sure they were, you know, given the results that they wanted to wanted the lights to give before they released them to the public. Um, and to give you an idea, they want to make these as easy and simple to use. Um, and reef safe as well. Um, so they only come with three channels. You have a 23,000 ke uh, Kelvin blue channel, an 8,000 Kelvin white channel, and also a moonlight channel on there as well if you want to use that function. Um, in total, the Reef LED 90 comes with 90 watts of power. Um, and to give you an idea, 80 watts of that is geared towards the blue spectrum. You've only got 10 watts uh, of power on the white, uh, the white channel. Um, but if you mix those together, so the blue and the white, uh, both at 100%, that gives you 15,000 Kelvin, which is a really optimal uh, Kelvin for coral growth, and it gives you a really nice uh, looking tank as well.
Yeah, so as Steve mentioned, there's three channels. I know what everyone's thinking, all the comments we've had so far. Why is there only three channels? Lots of LEDs on the market at the minute have more than three channels. And it's again, Red Sea's focus on keeping it not only simple, but reef safe. Now, most manufacturers will talk about PAR readings, and of course they're important, but Red Sea are kind of parking PAR for a minute and focusing on something PUR or PER. Now that means photosynthetic utilized radiation. Now, for those of you that want a super geek off, and I'm sure there's people out there, I'm one, one of you guys, but Red Sea have got some really great videos and content both on the website and in their new um, La Insights videos. And we'll put a link on that in, on the screen right now. Um, but in simple terms, it basically means the spectrums that corals can actually use to grow and to photosynthesize. And it means that you can get one of these lights out of the box and set it up exactly how you want. And Red Sea are pretty sure that whatever settings you've got set up, it will provide those right spectrums for your reef to be safe and happy. And if you do happen to stray into those small territories where it's not perfect, the application will notify you of that um, so that you can adjust it accordingly. So I guess as we're talking about the app and that's where the other functions um, of the light are accessed, we should take a closer look at that now. So as we mentioned before, uh, Red Sea have developed an app called uh, ReefBeat. And that's how you're going to be connecting to your new uh, reef LED lights. But as well as that, you'll be connecting to any future products that Red Sea uh, bring out that are going to be connected. Um, it's a really easy to use app. And as with most apps, you would connect to it via Wi-Fi. So you can connect to it directly to the light or through your router at home. Um, and not going into too much detail because Red Sea have really produced loads of really great videos on their YouTube channel. And we'll put links uh, to those in the description below so you can check them out. But when you turn uh, the app on, straight away you'll see how easy it is to use. Um, the app will have preset colour temperatures, so you can select one of their preset schedules, or you can make up your own schedule if you want to get a little more, bit more detailed and change it yourself. Um, as well as that, these lights are really good in the way that if you have more than one light on some of the larger aquariums, they will all work as one unit as if you had a luminaire, so they'll all run on the same schedule. But other than that, if you have more than one aquarium, which a lot of us do, you can set them up as separate aquariums in the app and it will run them separately. So once you've got the app open and connected and you've either selected one of those presets or you've made your own schedule, you can start to access some of the other features within the app. Now, as we mentioned earlier, there is a third channel of moonlight LEDs, so you can set them up to whichever tensity you want and for however long you want that to run throughout the night. And there's also the option to add cloud cover as a weather feature throughout the day. Now, if you've got more than one unit, as Steve just mentioned, you can also set up a staggered sunrise, which means the sun will come up and set over the aquarium as it would in the wild. Um, another feature which is really popular on some other units and really handy is an acclimation mode. You can set that up for um, as long as you want, um, for ideal for when you add new corals or fish into the system. Now, I know that we've mentioned it a lot, the focus is on how easy it is to use. And one thing that I continually notice is the dashboard when you first load the app is really, really great. It's got simple um, uh, display showing what percentage of each of those three channels you're running. And then icons to show which of those settings that I just spoke about are actually in use. Um, another feature just to keep it that reef safe is the push notifications that the app allows. So if you have a power outage, say, and your light, one of your lights or multiple lights go off, Provided the app is connected via the Wi-Fi, that will send you a push notification to alert you of that. So there we have it, a brief overview of the new Reef LED 90 by Red Sea. As we said before, uh, Red Sea have produced loads of great videos and content online. So if you want to check that out, head over to their website or YouTube and search for that. Um, as well as if you've got any more info, if you want any more information, you can leave a comment down below and we'll be sure to get back to you. Yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to not miss out on any future episodes. And we've got some really great content coming up, so make sure you do that. And give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you again on the next one. See ya.